What is the heart of church? What is the heart of liturgy? For me, the heart of church is suspended space. That what we do in the liturgical hour is create a gap in our existence where there is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female, Republican nor Democrat, employed nor unemployed, rich nor poor. For one hour in our week, we enter a place where we pretend that there is no distinction. Now we can't actually do it. I can't forget that I'm a guy. We can't forget if we're rich or if we're poor, but we theatrically perform it. We, we step out of historical time and we enter into the eschaton, the, 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 the world to come. Emmanuel Levinas, the great Jewish philosopher, once said, if you see the color of someone's eyes, you are not relating to them. Now what he meant by that is if you're having a conversation with somebody and you're not really listening, you can see the color of their eyes, you can see what they're wearing, you can see their, their hair and, and, and their, the color of their, their skin. But if you get into a really good conversation, suddenly you don't see the color of their eyes anymore. You forget what they're wearing. The person, they don't become invisible, but you go into a deeper level. What Martin Buber called an eye thou encounter. Now, in this suspended space, what we do is we lay aside our theology, we lay aside our politi political commitments, we lay aside our wealth, and just for one hour, we try to encounter someone beyond the color of their eyes. We try to engage someone at a deeper level. Now, we can't do that for our whole lives, but once we leave that space, once we leave the church, Maybe whenever we take up our ideological and our political and our religious opinions, the fights that we have won't be so vitriolic and there'll be a deeper level of respect for our adversary.